Hey everybody, it's Lon Sybin with another unboxing, and today we've got the new Raspberry Pi B Plus that I bought from Adafruit for 35 bucks. This is a great little mini PC. These have been around for a while now, and this is the newest and latest and greatest one, and we're going to do something with this on the main channel, which you can find at lon.tv. A lot of reviewers got to this already, uh, but I think I've got an idea as to what I want to do with it. So... Uh, this is it here. It's the same form factor as the last bunch, so it'll fit in all the same cases, but they've made some changes to everything. So the processor is the same as it was before, but it's now got a heat sink on it, so they're running it a little faster. So we'll see if we can figure out some way to get a better idea as to how fast it is. And then underneath this shield right here with the little Raspberry logo is a new wireless radio. So this now supports 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi in addition to 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. And I think uh, this will give us better performance doing live TV watching with the HD home run and whatnot, uh, given that we do have access to a uh, better wireless networking protocol. So that's going to be fun to see. Uh, the other big change here is they changed the uh, south bridge here for some of the peripherals, including the Ethernet. So uh, this is not technically gigabit Ethernet because it's still running over a USB 2 bus, but they are promising faster speeds. So uh, we'll get north now of 100 megabits per second, which I think is what the other one was limited to. So I think we should see probably two or 300 megabits per second for network speed on this one. So maybe we'll give that a shot in the main review. And then over here is where you put in your uh, SD card, your micro SD card to boot it up. So kind of an incremental change. There's, there's not too much new here, I think, from a performance standpoint. But we'll see if there is a little bit more that this faster clocked processor will get us. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, right here are some pins to uh, get a power over Ethernet connection working with this. They're going to have a new uh, board. They call it a hat, so it's going to sit over the entire uh, computer here. But basically what that will let you do once you get those pins connected to that hat is you can connect up an Ethernet cable that is also running power, and you can run this entire device off of its networking cable, which I think would be very useful in some applications. So... Uh, that'll be something to explore in the coming weeks. So Raspberry Pi B+, Plus, we're going to have a uh, review of some kind up on the main channel at lon.tv very shortly. So, oops, stay tuned. This channel is brought to you by the lon.tv supporters, including gold-level supporters of the Black Eyed and Blues Music Hour podcast, Chris Allegretta, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.